Hey, hey guys. Well, got injured on the homestead yesterday. And actually, I'm waiting for my daughter to come pick me up. She's taking me, I guess, to medic. I have, I think I broke um, my ankle. Trying to do some cleanup, do some uh, catching up. Uh, it's definitely a year of extreme, like Danny said and Wanda said, from Deep South Homestead. For me, it's definitely been a year of extreme with the garden, uh, uh, physically, um, family-wise. You know, so there's been a lot of trials and situations, and so. But we have to keep our faith. And I had made up my mind this morning. I'm devil. You're not taking my faith. So, um, but yeah, I um, like I said, I was trying to do some uh, clean up, get getting caught up. Um, really had a burst of energy yesterday to moving forward, you know, um, uh, also to prepare, uh, my homestead for whatever may happen into the future. I've always been a person who's like to stay one step ahead, always being prepared. Well, anyways, yesterday doing the cleanup, I kind of, um, getting off the back of the truck and, uh. I'm pretty sure I probably broke my ankle, but um, it's pretty swollen up. I've kind of got it wrapped up right this second and trying to get a sock on it, trying to keep it, you know, um, from getting any dirtier. But anyways, get off the back of the truck, taking a load, fixing to take a load of stuff off to the, to the dump. Uh, I'm trying to clean up because, uh, you know, uh, this time of the year, the rats and mice, they want to make beds to have babies and, uh, you know, I just wanted to get caught up in some things and uh, get some get a lot of things done here on the homestead. Unfortunately, I um, feel like I'm back at square one trying to get prepared. But anyways, just want your prayers. Just want to let you know. Um, you know, I plan on making more videos. I have been trying to get the videos all summer long and get different things done and um, finishing up on the wood heater and, and starting the greenhouse and, uh, you know, just getting, just trying to get some things done for winter really sets in here at the south. Today, it's going to be 80 some. And right now, the sun is like really burning my skin. But, uh, you know, we'll have winter here for long. Um, we'll see how cold it gets. But anyways, guys, uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, so, and hit that bell, so you'll know when I do upload a video, I had so many ideas, so many things I wanted to do, so many projects, so, we'll see what the doctor says, um, it would be nice if it was maybe just, uh, spring, but right now, it doesn't look that way, but we'll see, and, and, uh, hopefully, I won't have to have surgery on this situation, so, um, so keep me lifted up in your prayers. Uh, keep my homestead lifted up in your prayers because homesteading is, is really a place that you, it, it doesn't stop, you know, and you get one, I feel like I'm, I'm already a year behind, but you get behind and this really is hard to, to get caught up. Also, um, since my mother, well, before my mother passed away, I was taking care of her homestead and mine. And um, so, yeah, need your prayers right now. And I thank you so much for that. But just in case I can't, you know, get any videos out, I just want to let y'all know um, what's going on. Uh, been having a difficult time for some reason. That stuff just keeps coming up that I can't get videos out. I've even made videos. And it's either phone problems or whatever the case may be. But guys, I just want to let you know, I got injured onto the homestead yesterday. And um, I'll probably give you an update. You know, if it's if it's severe, I'll probably just give you an update. Hopefully, it won't. Hopefully, I'll you know um, the weather will hold out, and you know I'm just trusting, believing that God is going to work it out. Um, I'm not losing my faith. Sometimes we go through so much. This is definitely be a, a a year of extreme circumstances in my life, but we just have to hold fast to the faith. We have to be determined not to quit, to park, to throw in the towel. We have to be determined, you know, and just uh, continue on, because accidents do happen, things do happen, 
and uh, it was um, kind of strange because I just really got that burst of energy and just want to get some, you know, some limbs cut down and get just get the garden. The garden's got grass in it now. Just get, just get going, you know. Just get going, get going because when I'm out there doing that, it makes me happy. It energizes me. It just, it just something about it. I'm not a person who could be still. So when I get injured or I can't do certain things, it, it really is hard. It's hard for me. Um, when I'm out there doing something other, it um, is like, you know, God really starts speaking to me and I just get such peace out there. It's where, where I'm happy. I start, I'm happy at and um, wisdom and knowledge, understanding comes to me at that moment. So especially into the garden or whatever is, and then when I get finished, what will be considered hard work for somebody else, it just restores and refreshes me. So uh, this is a year uh, definitely of extremes. But you know what? Um, I have to say this, that for those who are holding fast to God's word and holding fast to him and doing their very best to prepare for whatever it is to head, God is providing. He's helping. He is uh, financially making ways out of no ways. And uh, so guys, guys, just hold to your faith. Um, just here to also encourage you. So anyways, remember to make it a great day no matter what your circumstance is. This morning I've been crawling around. I, I couldn't walk. I've been crawling around on the floor on my knees. And so uh, that's been very hard. I finally pull it, pulled out. This is a, it's made out of a grapevine. It's a cane. So I've been trying to hold to that a little bit to give me a little bit of support to not to do any more damage when I do try or have to get up. All right, guys, have a wonderful day and remember to make it a great day and God bless you.